Monday, 23rd of January. I thought I'd have a nice little afternoon shave. The reason it's early afternoon and not in the morning is, um, and by the way, this is from Gary, this is the uh, sandalwood shaving cream. I thought I'd make a change on the shaving creams. This one, I have to say, it's got a beautiful aroma. I'm no scent expert, in fact, I deride and despise people that quack on about weird and wonderful scents. No ambergris in it, no lavender or whatever. It's just got a really nice smell. Anyway, let's just crack on. Um, all I would say is, I was out this morning in the frost skating and it was uh, minus four early on. I think it was about minus two and I actually got out, cycled down to the seafront on my trusty steed. I had my backpack with my skates on. Did, uh, I don't know, not very much, I mean, it was very frosty. Did about two and a half miles. I met uh, Hisham, my wonderful barber friend, who is uh, probably, well, he is the best barber in the area. Um, and he had just done a run and he was doing some press up, so I joined him. And uh, he did uh, 30 and then another 30. I did 40 <laughs> and then 30. Um, all this led me to a bit of a, a hunger. So I've had some lunch now. Now, now this is actually creaming up beautifully. I'm now um, about to have a shave test. My little shave test today may be a little unusual. Um, by the way, this is also <laughs> Gary Haywood's brush he very kindly sent me. It's uh, a 28 mil. It lathers up beautifully. Uh, it's got a special seal at the bottom, which I don't understand, but that's not my expertise. Anyway, getting back to the shade, what I thought I'd do was put about my 26th shave on this edge, on this beautiful Philharmonica Tridor, crack it open a little bit, just trying to get it up to 30 shaves. Uh, and then a couple more. So let's just try. Yep. Beautiful. Now, I did a little test just now. And I'm going to do this in future. If you've got a really nice edge. This is Gary's edge, by the way. Look at that, just straight off. If you've got a really nice edge, do you actually need to keep stropping it hard? Working on the theory that you're slowly, although you're realigning the teeth on the razor's edge, if you keep doing it, there comes a point where the laws of return say you're probably gonna slowly convex the edge over. Anyway, this is the point I was gonna make uh, bear with me, which is, I now HHT, I do a hanging hair test when I take the, these razors out of the cupboard. And if they pass, which this does supremely, if they pass the hanging hair test perfectly, do you really need to strop them that much? All I've done, I've given 12 laps on very fine leather, that's it. And of course, it's perfect. Um, as a comparison, that was a, a Tridor. This is a Novador. And this one is again, beautiful razor, absolutely mint. Let's see how that goes on the other side of my face. Slightly different sound. This is a very slightly thinner blade, I believe. But cuts really well, as you can hear. Strangely enough, probably not quite as well as the Tridor. But then there's deep and strange mysteries about the Tridor. The Tridor is unique amongst Philharmonicas. It had some sort of strange plating process. And uh, that lent it to be a little bit better. At least I found it is. I think that proves that both of those, which have had only 12 laps, are very, very good. Um, 
these are not my edges this one is this is the one I shaved with the other day which I'd only just honed it was a, a, a new old stock from Spain it's a very late Philharmonica double temple uh, as we all know double temple means double tempered so it's but this is a late one I would say possibly 1970s um, you can very hardly tell, but it's got the, the later um, gold emblem of the lyre and the philharmonica on it. Uh, it this is um, just a test of seeing why or if Gary's edge, which holds forever, will equal my edge, which has only just gone on. So this is only the second shave uh, on this edge. And this is... Um, my usual synthetic progression to 20k. So this is a 20,000 grit Sahiru. But this is of course the second part, so it's a bit of a cheat. Yeah, it feels, oh, actually it feels better. So maybe I was right, maybe, maybe, if you like synthetic edges, you should stick to them. I was uh, heartily disappointed with my pathetic attempts of putting a decent edge on the gold dollars. Uh, the gold dollars are rubbish, they really are. The only thing I would say, they're very good practice razors. Yeah, that's lovely, absolutely gorgeous. I would honestly say, uh, I'm not going to bin them, but they were my first go at deep honing of warped razors. And of course, you can't get a gold dollar that isn't warped to buggery. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Fine. Not as good as it could be, of course, but then I've never claimed to be good at it. I know I should have more lava, but I think I'd like to see where I'm going and see what it feels like. That's, it's still very slick. I mean, I'm not that stupid, but it is a, a very slick feel, even when you take some of the lava off. But this is a very creamy soap. This is an amazingly creamy lava. I don't think I've had one like this in Yonks. Gary's been very generous. He often sends me down part used uh, exclusive lavas. And this particular soap, which is a sandalwood. Taylor of Old Bond Street, no less. Does seem to be very nice stuff. Anyway, I'm not going to go on and on and on. All I would say is, going against the grain here, that um, 12 laps, just to refresh the edge, when you've had it in storage for a little while, seems to be perfectly adequate, assuming that it HHTs perfectly. Um, I won't shave as I keep quacking on. I will not shave with any edge that doesn't HHT absolutely perfectly. Um, that was a mistake I made with the gold dollars. They're a bit yee. But uh, there we go with the tridor. And it's 26, or is it now the 27th shave? Again, you get what you pay for in life. You really are getting a a Model T Ford, if you get a, a gold dollar, and that's being unkind to Model T Ford. Um, whereas if you get yourself a Philharmonica of this quality, you're getting a Rolls Royce. And that's provable. Absolutely provable. Look at that. I can't feel any bloody stubble. That's amazing.
Yeah. Baby's bum smooth. You can't, I can't do the middle bit by going across the face. Um, the lip seems to have these little dimples in the lip, which I can only get by going on a downstroke. I'm sure I'm not the only one that finds that. Anyway, let me do a couple more strokes with this tridor and uh, I won't bore you any longer. What I would say is, if you've got an edge which is absolutely HHT perfectly, why do you want to risk it by overstropping? So this has only had 12 laps, very gently, on a Kaniyama fine leather strop, and it's all it needed. I'll give it a, a little bit of a, a taste of the linen, maybe afterwards. But as far as I'm concerned, this is very close to being a BBS. I'm not too bothered today about going for a BBS, but this is a, certainly a very fine shave, as you can see. I had two and a half days of barbed wire on my face. Mine's old bay stubble. Um, one more time with the, the new boy. And then I call that it. This is um, the very late Philharmonica double temple from Spain. New old stock. And this is on my age. This is a Entirely synthetic. This is a 20k. I actually think today I still go with uh, what was Gary's uh, Tridor. It's had uh, some abuse from me. 26 shaves. I think that was its 27th. And it's still got a better edge than this resurfaced Philharmonica double temple. Anyway, all I was trying to make as a point, if you can call it a point, is if you've got an absolutely perfect edge, I mean it's HHT all the way along, just ping, 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 very, very sweetly. Why do you want to strop the hell out of it if it's already got a very, very good edge? So I proved it. 12 laps just to be on the safe side. Perfect shave. Anyway, in future, I should do very, very less on the stropping and a little bit more on the checking. So, sorry to bore you chaps. That'll do for today. See you all soon.